Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I played with Alpha Zero with white pieces. Magnus Carlsen chose our opening and this game is 30 seconds bullet chess game. You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. So let's go into the game. I started with d4. We have d5, c4, c6 knight to c3 knight f6 knight f3. Magnus Carlsen chose this three knight variation of the queen's gambit declined. We have e6, g3. What a damn opening move he chose for me. It's a computer chess game. Not his bullet or blitz game. It loses my c4 pawn, knight d7, bishop g2, d takes c4 and we have a4 to having control over the b5 square, a5 castle and we have bishop e6. Here black can play e5 to strike in the center or castle, b3, takes and I played queen takes b3, castle, rook d1 queen to e7 to having a control of b4 square to pressure me on dark square, knight h4 and my plan is to push the e4 pawn sincerely, knight d5 and I moved back my knight. It's an inaccuracy move because it's a 30 seconds bullet chess, best was to play e4. Not how long, but how well you have lived is the main thing, so we have bishop b4, e4 knight b6 and I developed my knight, he played c5 to break the c-file, taking the pawn isn't allowed because the knight can create many problems for the queen, the queen position is not good so you have to make the queen position better than anything else, best was to push the pawn then after takes, takes and knight f6. We will push th pawn, queen here queen c2 and that's it, the pawn can be protected by the knight and the dark square bishop, and the pawn have rook support, the whole secret of a successful life is to find out what is one's destiny to do, and then do it, but I didn't find the best move, I played alternate move bishop e3 to guard the pawn, we have c takes d4, bishop takes d4, e5 to stop the bishop line, bishop backs, knight c5 and we have first pieces exchanges, queen takes c5 and look at the black pieces. He is controlling many dark squares with the bishop and pawn army, Alpha Zero didn't made a single inaccuracy move, he is really best in bullet chess, he want to play bishop e6 on his next turn, so rook c1 queen d6, here if you play any normal kind of move for example rook b1 then alpha will play bishop e3, to seize your complete queen running squares, I mean the position will be very bad and if you play queen c2 then rook c8 will come to target the knight with two pieces. Game will be over and never let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game, so in this position I played knight f5 to get an extra move, if you take the knight then the diagonal will be open for my bishop which is why he played queen e6, queen b1 rook d1, life and chess are either a daring adventure or nothing, my knights are want to do an adventure on the center square, bishop d7 knight d5, to target the dark square bishop so alpha takes it, takes and we have queen d6 bishop f1. Threatening to play bishop c4 queen b3 to control over the knight square diagonal, bishop c6, queen b3 bishop c5 rook a2 and we are playing our move too fast to maintain our time, you cannot take the pawn, if you do then after takes takes takes, bishop g2 will target your rook and pressure into the bishop at the same time, so e4 takes rook here bishop takes pawn rook c7, and the game might be a draw, alpha don't want to make this game draw, he wants to lose the game to me, he played b6 to hold the structure, bishop c4 g6. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams, so h4 by me, threatening to play h5, he blocked it by playing h5 himself, rook d2 king g7 and after some moves later, you can see this position, we stuck in this c file, we have to keep our rook on this file, time is very precise and making move like 4000 elo. I need 4 to 5 seconds of time which I can't do otherwise I will lose by time, but he played 4000 elo move e4, and after some moves later we have queen f5, rooks can't move, so bishop f6. d6 bishop e5 d6 and he takes the pawn, if you take the e4 pawn then black will win up the rook pawn, and he will make pressure on the c file where he will get two connected pass pawns, so in this position we have bishop b5 to target the queen, queen d5 and I take the rook, pawn takes, bishop c4, queen backs rook e1, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you've imagined, which is why he played f5, another super aggressive move, because he is my subscriber, chess friends, 
If you want to be genius like Stockfish and an Alpha Zero then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will get Stockfish chess videos, Queen G5 Bishop F6 Queen E3 King to H7, Rook here Bishop D4, Dark Square Bishop is doing very good job here, if you move back your Queen to D2 then Black will push the E pawn to target the pawn and Queen with discover check. So I has to play Queen E1, when your opponent occupy your full squares and your piece have no square to run then you can move back your piece to her home square where she will be totally secured, rook b8 and black is threatening to play e3 with check so king h2, f6, another brilliant move on this hyper bullet chess, if you take it then the structure will be insecure, the f pawns will be under attack by rooks, life is trying things to see if they work. So we have queen e2 rook f8 rook f1 king here queen e1 to target the pawn, queen b4 bishop here, g2 takes, takes, rook f8 to target this with bishop so I take the queen, and black is completely winning the game, that was great match with alpha 0, he have more pawns than me and he is going to checkmate me, don't see the time control because alpha is faster than light, he learned from my videos and he is going to defeat me. Wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.